Good morning, it's Stephanie from McCormick Dementia Services. Uh, I had a really good follow-up question from my last video about medications. Uh, the question was, how do I get the person with dementia to take their pills if they truly believe they don't need to take them? For example, I don't have any pain, I don't need these pain pills. What they don't understand is that if they stop taking their pain medication, their pain symptoms will return and it will take that much longer to control their pain afterwards with the, the medications once they re restart taking them. Uh, being a charge nurse on a 32 resident home area, I ran into this line many of times in my 15 years of nursing. I had to get creative and develop a lot of patience and learn from my peers of how to get uh, clients and residents to trust me during medication time because that's what is needed during medication time is for them to trust you because um, a person with dementia during medication time could be viewing their meds for the first time every single time they take their pills so just let that set in if for the for a person with dementia could be viewing their pills for the very first time every single time they take their meds. Um, so hopefully these tips and tricks could help assist you at home during medication time. Uh, you want to keep the experience positive. Um, the person with dementia could imprint an emotion on a person or a task or a building and they don't understand why they feel this way, but before they had a negative experience towards it. So keep medication time positive. Um, explain to them what they're taking. If it were me and I'm seeing these pills for the very first time, I'm gonna wanna know what the heck I'm taking. So give them that time and say, these medications are for your heart, your bowels, or whatever they're for. Just give them that time. Another one is getting down to their level. So if they're just going off and saying, I don't like taking medications, they, I, whatever reason it is, <laughs> um, just agree with them. Say, I understand. I don't like taking medications too. Make it light and fluffy, uh, make jokes with them. And then after you created a, a bond with them, um, you're validating how they're feeling. So they're just feeling down and out that they have to take so many pills. It takes a toll on somebody to take a handful of pills two to three times a day. So just they're, you're simply validating how they're feeling. And after you're able to create that relationship, that is when you could go in and say, you know, I remember when I stopped taking my pain pills, my knee hurt so bad. It took so long to get my pain under control once I started taking them again. I would hate for you to feel this pain um, if anything, I would take your pain pills because I'm telling you, it's not fun. Just have that, that getting down to that level. It, it also looks out for their best interest and they'll have that level of trust with you. Um, does the person respect authority or their doctor? If so, you could use that to your advantage and say, you know, you have a wonderful, wonderful doctor. He or she, um, worked really hard to find the right combination of medication to make sure that you're okay and that you'll be you'll be safe. So I think you should really take your medication because your doctor told you to take it. Uh, what time of day is it? This is important um, because if it's during a time with sundowning between say four or three o'clock to seven, they may be very suspicious of what is going on within their surroundings. So if you can maybe give them their, their pills before that time or after, that might be helpful as well. Um, are they suspicious of you? You may have to get somebody else um, to come in and assist with medication time. Again, they could have um, imprinted a negative uh, emotion on the combination of the pills and the person. So the combination of this task, they're not gonna be accepted of you, of accepting the pills from you. Um, give them a choice. So say you have five pills, right? Not to say that pill, whatever pill that is in within this five is less important or more important, but just say you have five and two of them are for the heart. One is for pain. I'm just going off. Uh, one's a calcium and one's a bowel for bowels. 
So you would say, okay, fine. I understand you're validating. You don't want to take these pills. It's really hard. But out of the five, I think these three are very, very important right now. If you could take those, those are great. You could take those two and um, give them at some point in the day. Uh, another time when they're less suspicious or less agitated. Um, but as long as you get those those key ones at that time, that's, that's a really good thing to do. Um, um, do the pills come in liquid form? So say the ones that you took out to give at a different time, do they come in a liquid, a powder, or a chewable tab? Do they come, there's some that you could come like in a little square chocolate even, I've seen. So there, you could get really creative in that sense. Um, you could also try bargaining. So bargaining, I had this one. She, I admired her ability to come up, she was really witty and she came up with every excuse in the book. So I had to get really creative and find out what she enjoyed. So I said, hey, I have this ice cream sandwich. You got to break all the rules at this point because you have to get their pills in. If, and I would say, if you take your pills, I'll give you this ice cream sandwich. And usually that really works because you're building another, you're building a relationship. You're getting down to their level. You're breaking the rules. Um, and usually like, okay, I'll take the pills and then thank you. And then it gives a positive experience on the medication. But you have to be careful with that bargaining because they're really smart and they could use that for absolutely everything. So uh, everything from getting up in the morning or um, using the washroom, like you wanna, you wanna keep that in your tool belt, but you gotta be careful because they could be really smart and use that for <laughs> everything that you offer. Um, and last resort, um, you want to talk to your healthcare provider or your pharmacist. Um, you could crush the medication and hide it in their food. I say this in the last resort because you don't want them to be suspicious of their meal, of meal times. Meal times are very, very important, and you don't want them to not to stop eating. Um, so I like to reserve this for the last, last resort. Um, I like to use that mainly because for swallowing issues. So usually all those other tips will work before I get to, very rarely do I ever have to hide it. Um, I think that is it for now. I hope you've enjoyed um, the video. And if you have any further questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, you could contact me at McCormick Dementia Services and keep looking for our videos and tips and tricks on Caregiver Corner. Thank you and have a great day.